Welcome to my Antelope Valley Aerospace Voyage made in Google Earth. In this tour we are going to see how the Antelope Valley has paid tribute to the industry that helped build its economy. Let's go ahead and start. Our first stop is at Antelope Valley College where they have a D558-2 Skyrocket mounted on the lawn. Over here you can see a picture of pilot Scott Crossfield who was actually the first test pilot to break that barrier of Mach 2 speed. The Skyrocket took its maiden voyage at nearby Edwards Air Force Base. Over here you can see some of the images, some images that help further describe this aircraft, including some historical photos. Unlike most modern aircraft today, it did not take off from a runway. Instead, it was flown by a carrier ship and then dropped in midair. If you wanted to, you could also watch a video that is linked here. Let's go ahead and move to our next location. At our next location, you will see a F-4 Phantom at Boeing Plaza. Boeing Plaza is an area in downtown Lancaster dedicated to uh, the test pilots of the industry. This concludes a district known as the Aviation Walk of Honor. And you can see it has this marker that you can see up here in the picture, along with some additional information about the F-4 Phantom, the only aircraft that was featured in both the Air Force's Thunderbirds and the Navy's Blue Angels. And if you wanted to learn more, you could watch this short video. Actually, that one's not so short. It's about 15 minutes. Anyway, our next stop is going to take us to the Jet Hawk Stadium, where they have in front welcoming all of its guests an FA-18 Hornet. Uh, this is a NASA model. The F-18 has played a significant role in aviation history. In particular, in addition to being a show plane, it was also the plane that would trail the space shuttle for its return to Florida when it would land at nearby Plant 42 or Edwards Air Force Base. Moving to our next location is the, where you'll find two SR-71 Blackbirds. Technically one of them is an A-12, but they're almost indistinguishable to the civilian eye at Blackbird Air Park where you'll also find an old U-2 reconnaissance plane. If you were to zoom out, nearby you'll see right next door is another air park featuring some other older aircrafts, Joe Davies Heritage Park. But I want to focus over here on the SR-71 Blackbird and the U-2 because these are some of the most amazing planes in that no plane has flown higher or faster than the SR-71 Blackbird. In fact, it flies so fast they once tried putting guns on it and it ended up shooting itself because it would fly faster than the bullets. Um, in addition to that, it flies so high that its, that its pilots actually had to be equipped with astronaut suits because it would fly so high, you can actually see in the reflection of this pilot's um, visor, you can even see the curvature of the Earth at those altitudes. All right, moving on to our next location, not too far away, is at Skunk Works headquarters where you'll find a mounted F-117 stealth fighter, also known as the Nighthawk. Quite possibly the stealthiest aircraft ever designed. It actually has a cross section comparable to that of a Sparrow, and I am talking about the bird, not the Sparrow missile. Let's take a look at a few other things here. To offer. Uh, as I mentioned, the F-117 is part of the Lockheed Martin Skunk Works program that you can see the icon of. If you were to travel by this building as we zoom out, this you would actually see the Skunk Works logo in the upper left corner of this hangar. Skunk Works is known for a number of other aircraft, some of which you've already seen here in this tour today. But the newest one that you're probably familiar with is the F-22 Raptor. All right. So as I mentioned, we do, there are some other notable aircrafts in the valley. Uh, these ones we're not going to go into as much detail, but we'll show them here. you got the F-16 Fighting Falcon. You have a T-38 Talon, typically used in test flights to trail 
um, the exp other experimental aircraft. You have some unmanned airplanes here. These are from Northrop Grumman, also located at Plant 42. You have Northrop Grumman's Global Hawk. And if we zoom out, go move a little bit further down the valley over to Edwards Air Force Base, you'll get a glimpse of some other aircrafts that have since been put on display, such as the A-10 Thunderbolt, as well as another SR-71 Blackbird, a few other aircrafts, and the Phantom F-4. All right, I hope you enjoyed this voyage, and thank you.